Hey guys, it's Jess from Stark Skincare here. It is Friday and it is the end of the day, so I have to apologize if I'm extra loopy <laughs> right now. I'm not well caffeinated and um, yeah, just like long week. Is it Friday? I hope it's Friday. <laughs> I believe it's Friday. So I'm going to um, talk a little bit about and probably hopefully not confuse anyone because like I said I'm feeling a little bit like out of sorts right now um, about one of my favorite classifications of ingredients slash a really important part of your skincare routine which is humectants. So humectants at least in green beauty are usually going to be found in mists, <laughs> mists, <laughs> sprays, uh, essences, toners, so unless it's like an acne, like alcohol-based kind of toner, which I don't think you see very much in the green beauty sphere, I don't know. Um, that kind of product, like a, a, you know, a spray on hydrating product, um, which are amazing and you, everyone needs one in their rotation, honestly, like they just, they feel, they're probably my favorite and most anticipated part of taking care of my skin because it's just so refreshing and feels so good and more often than not they're really nicely scented so it's just like a full body experience and <laughs> because if it, if you're buying from a reputable brand from someone who knows how to formulate they're going to really help with the hydration of your skin so if you remember from my previous uh, video I think I talked about this that there's hydration and there's moisturization. Um, and there's a lot of debate and there's, it depends on who you talk to about this. Like we might have slightly different definitions and ways of explaining this. But for me, hydration is drawing water content into your skin and moisturization is replacing lipids. So replacing oils. Um, and there's a little bit more to it than that, but that's sort of the, the, the I don't know, simpler way of, of explaining it. Um, so with hydration, you need a humectant. So what a humectant is, is it's a water soluble, soluble hygroscopic ingredient that literally just sucks uh, water, I was gonna say air, sucks water out of the atmosphere and then just sticks it right onto a surface. So in this case, it'll be sucking water out of the atmosphere and into your skin and it actually pulls it into your skin. So, um, as I said, sorry about that. <laughs> as I said, this, this is uh, essential to proper hydration and moisturization because without, um, without a humectant in the proper percentage in a well-formulated product, your skin's not really going to draw in the moisture. It's not really going to draw in water. So if you have, um, dehydrated skin, if it looks if it's kind of got that crepe paper um, look to it or a texture, if you're looking up close to it, then you definitely need to be using a humectant. So popular humectants, um, the simplest and my favorite when I'm formulating something that's not necessarily for hydration, like being like the main thing, but uh, I would use like, I use it in a lot of stuff, is glycerin. So glycerin you're going to find in um, maybe face washes, you're going to find in uh, creams or lotions, you're going to find in lots of toners and sprays and mists. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. And it's in our new mist, um, which is coming out in just a couple of weeks. I'm really excited. It's a great one. But it's not specifically for hydrating but it does contain glycerin because like I said, it's just such a good overall product to be including in whatever you can get it into. <laughs> so anything that's uh, water or liquid based. So um, glycerin, uh, like I said, is, is like probably the, the most common. The other ones that you're going to be seeing are hyaluronic acid. That's the really popular, very effective one right now. I like that one a lot. Um, there's also uh, tamarind extract, there's sodium PCA, there's sodium lactate, there's, um, drawing a blank. Those are some that I can think of right now. 
<laughs> and uh, they all have different um, benefits. And our skin does produce its own as well. So uh, it's one of those things that's really great to just be boosting up your, your, your own production of it. Or not production, but like your own layer of it so that it can be doing its thing. Because we do just tend to dehydrate our skin. It's one of those things that like as we age, we're just not, it, our skin doesn't do it as well as it used to, unfortunately. But that's life, isn't it? So that's why we need a good skincare regimen. Um, there is a little bit of a debate about humectants and whether or not it's possible that they not only draw moisture from the air, but can also draw moisture from the, from deeper within your skin and actually draw it out. Um, from the research that I've done, it's not super clear whether or not that's true. You, s I tend to see that kind of information on these less reputable sites that are really trying to like scare, like just do like a lot of health scaring, fear mongering kind of stuff. Um, and a lot of the studies that they were using to back up their claims um, just didn't seem very legit <laughs> and just seemed a little bit silly too because they weren't really talking about um, humectants in a proper skincare formula. They were more talking about like applying pure glycerin to your face, which I mean, that's not the same thing as the proper percentage of glycerin in a product, right? Like it's, if you've got something that's 98% aloe vera, oh, that's another humectant, aloe vera, 98%, <laughs> um, oh, and honey, um, water, and 2% glycerin or 2% honey or whatever, that's very different than just smearing on a bunch of glycerin, um, which would make you extremely sticky <laughs> and really shiny. Like that's why it's not, you know, that is not a thing that you buy just to put on your skin. You know, it's also gonna give you frizzy hair. Um, yeah. <laughs> so that claim of whether or not it can suck moisture out of the deeper layers of your skin, I'm not so sure about it. You really only have to worry about that if there's no moisture content, like literally no moisture content in your environment. So people who live in um, in the desert and people who are living in the winter, um, we tend to have quite low humidity, but it's very easy to fix. I mean, use a humidifier when you're inside. Um, and I mean, actually winter, like it's not that low in humidity. It feels dry, but if you actually check on the weather channel, like there is enough humidity in the air. And when I mean really low humidity, I mean like 10%, <laughs> which isn't, doesn't happen very, very often. Like even in the desert, like I've been to the Middle East quite a few times because my in-laws live there. And even there, you don't get the dry, 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 like, all the time like there is a break right um and also like i said like you're spraying on something that's mostly water with some humectant so wouldn't it just be absorbing that stuff directly into your skin right away right also there's a way of applying of properly layering and applying products and i'm gonna do a whole video just about that but let me tell you just the gist of it so whenever you're using a, a, a mist with a humectant, what you want to be doing is applying the humectant and then right away you apply, apply, you apply your moisturizer. So you apply um, your three, four drops of oil. And if you're somewhere that really has like no, no, absolutely no moisture, you're also going to want to apply, or if you just have really dry skin, um, apply something heavier on top of that. So something that has an occlusive layer, which would be um, something like a balm, uh, something that has a, like a wax in it, something that has a, a really um, brittle butter, like cocoa butter, um, cupuacho. Is that how you say it? I don't think I've ever said that out loud. <laughs> So I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. Um, yeah, just like those brittle, hard oil uh, butters would would create an occlusive layer. Or Vaseline, but don't. <laughs> don't do the Vaseline. 
Um, but that that creates that that barrier that's going to keep it all in. And from what I've seen, there hasn't been any proof that if you use a humectant, you've put your moisturization under something with an occlusive layer. So you've got your your oils and you've got an occlusive layer. You're not going to be losing moisture. You know, it won't be getting sucked out. So that's my tip. That's my trick. I hope that wasn't too confusing. I'm feeling so like loopy, like loopier than normal, <laughs> than my normal um, right now. So hopefully that was useful. Um, I'm going to be trying to get a little bit more organized with my videos. Uh, I have some launches coming up, as I may have mentioned. So um, I'm going to be busy with that, but I do want to continue with the videos, but I'll probably have to plan them and maybe even script them a little bit. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm going to try. Um, hopefully that answered your question about humectants. If it didn't, great. Let me know how I confused you <laughs> and then I can just, you know, tackle this in humectants too. <laughs> so have a great weekend, everyone. And um, don't forget to hydrate and moisturize your skin and protect it from the sun.